Good morning. I'd like to welcome all of you to this momentous occasion, the commencement of the joining of Market Street Mission and Christ Community Church. As I began to ponder how to actually introduce this moment, it caused me to remember over 15 years ago, Christ Community Church made Newton its home, desiring to be the good neighbor church. My wife and I joined for this very reason. The church was in our neighborhood, and we hoped to help people who desperately needed recovery, who needed the opportunity to understand and receive true recovery through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Then over a year ago, I can remember the church leadership refining their vision, defining that vision as an outreach uh, for exactly that, recovery healing and hope for people who are broken and fragile, afflicted and oppressed. Yet we felt so ill-equipped in putting action behind that vision. And then suddenly the Market Street mission knocking at our door bringing us exactly the equipping that we felt we lacked. It's interesting. I had a conversation with one of my children about sometimes when I don't see God's hand at work, it's really mostly because I'm not paying attention. There I go again preaching the exact message that I need to hear. Scripture tells us we can never outgive God and that he is able to do immeasurably beyond what we could ask or imagine. And as we stand at this threshold, it's impossible not to recognize that God has had this in his plans long before Christ Community Church, long before Market Street Mission, or before any of us ever came to be. And we are humbled. If you would, please join me for a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, Words cannot convey the broad spectrum of feelings in a moment like this. For me, the best I could come up with was exhilarating. But there's no gratitude really conveyed by that word. So we pause and we lift up grateful hearts for what you have invited us into. The fellowship represented here and in the community beyond is of your design, the mission of your inspiration, and the resources to carry that forward provided by you. Another word that comes close is the word exquisite. So, Father, we thank you for your exquisite presence with us here this morning. We consecrate this place and this time to you for your purpose, dedicating it to your will. And we thank you for the blessings that each of us enjoy 
yet may we become those vessels filled to overflowing that your blessing would reach everyone else we encounter on your path. We praise you and thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Without any further ado, I would like to introduce David Scott, the CEO of the Market Street Mission. Thank you, Bill. Uh, after a uh, few years of brainstorming, praying, planning, uh, we're excited to see this door of opportunity in Sussex County open, and we're looking for the Lord to direct in this. Uh, we began with conversation with the town about the need for such a ministry and uh, the support, and uh, shortly after began working with Christ Community Church and we're uh, very thankful for their partnership with us in this ministry. Uh, shortly thereafter, we then uh, began uh, renovation, uh, minor here, and we're uh, so thankful for how things have progressed so that today we can uh, rejoice with you to begin to serve here in this community. What we'll actually be doing is called a hospitality room, and. Um, there was real confirmation as we talked with the town and different ones that the need was for men. So we will begin with a 14 bed stay for 14 men. Um, during that time, we'll provide uh, a place to sleep, food and uh, showers. And hopefully we'll begin relationships with these men so that they could see the recovery program. So we just pray with, we would ask you to pray with us for the Lord leading in this whole new ministry. And we are so excited to see it begin today. Um, as we think about this, I'd like to introduce uh, the COO, who's very instrumental in everything that goes on at the mission, uh, Mr. George Mustab, who's going to do a short devotional. Good morning. Uh, it's really a privilege and a joy to be here. Uh, we as already has been said, we have to just recognize God's hand in all of this. Uh, opening the doors of Sussex County, being asked them up here um, at a meeting, being at a meeting with the town and having Christ Community Church there, uh, just opened all the doors for us to start this ministry. We've been involved in change. Every ministry. This is an important part of our basic needs ministry, but the basic needs ministry is there to give true hope. I want to read a passage that really brought me uh, to work at Market Street Mission, and it's out of Isaiah 58. And it says this Is this, is not this the fast that I chose to loose the bonds of wickedness, to undo the straps of the yoke, to let the oppressed go free, and to break every yoke? Is it not to share your bread with the hungry and to bring the homeless poor into your house when you see the naked to cover him and not to hide yourself from your own flesh? Then shall your light break forth like the dawn and your healing shall spring up speedily. Your righteousness shall go before you. The glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. And as I think about this passage, I see God commanding us to do these basic needs and his basic help to people to show them his mercy and his love. But that ultimate freeing of the oppressed and the bonds comes only through hope in Jesus Christ. And you know, our tagline for the mission, so to speak, is meals, shelter, hope. We, we use meals and shelter as a way to introduce eternal hope, living hope to people in Jesus Christ. And uh, that is what we hope to do here. He is our living hope. And uh, this will be a part, overall part of the, of the mission ministry, uh, helping men uh, to, to have shelter, to be fed, but ultimately we wanna see them come to know our, our savior, Jesus Christ. Um, with that, uh, it's awesome to think that the man who will be managing this ministry for us 
uh, is an example of how that happens. And uh, not just in terms of a testimony mission, much more importantly, a testimony of Christ. Uh, Jacob Gaeta came to the mission over five years ago. Uh, uh, when I first saw him, he was dancing at one of our parties. I thought he was a little insane. He is. Um, but, um, and I was like, I don't think this guy's ever going to make it. But uh, he more than made it. We, we saw the Lord working in his life in, in it, like just we saw God's calling. And one of the things the mission does is when we see God's calling on somebody's life, we want to come alongside that. And we want to encourage that and give uh, everything that we can to help that person grow. And what happens, right, when we do this, what was said here in Isaiah 58, and when we, when we follow Christ where we needed hope, we now bring that hope to others. We now bring that message and that gospel to others. And so I want to introduce Jacob Gator, who's going to be the site director, site manager for the Newton Ministry. Jacob. Hey, hello, everybody. Uh, welcome uh, to this, uh, like uh, Bill was saying, this momentous occasion. Just a beautiful day. I have the privilege of uh, introducing the Boots on the Ground uh, team. Uh, they're going to be up here in Newton. Uh, but before I do that, I just want to extend some thanks. Um, you know, this whole project isn't just an overnight thing. Um, there was a vision and a lot of prayer and uh, just dedication and planning that's gone into this. And then we'll continue to go into this as well. Um, and we've just been blessed by an awesome team of men and women who absolutely love God. Um, and their main mission is to continue to proclaim the gospel and to see men and women get saved. Um, and I'm just, I always feel when I get a little worried or a little anxious or I start projecting things, I think of that. I think, okay, we're in good hands because first and foremost, we're seeking after God and his wisdom um, and not just making foolish decisions. So I'm just blessed to be around them. All the different areas that have been a huge help, uh, the community of Newton, Sussex County as a whole, um, and the list goes on and on. We're just so grateful for that. So um, now I want to just take a minute to introduce the team who I'm just privileged and blessed to have a part of this. Uh, so I'll be the site manager. Uh, there's going to be two men that have, over the past two years or so, have gained um, exceptional experience um, in just managing men in a loving, gentle, kind, God-honoring way. Um, and I'm so happy to have them um, next to me through this whole process as well. Um, they're going to be the two guys that are really in charge of the um, – the meat of the program. Um, when the guys come in, they're going to be the ones ensuring their safety, um, ensuring they're they're taken care of, um, and just managing this house um, in, in the thick of it all. So uh, th these guys are well trained to do so, and uh, I'm very excited to have them on my team. First, I'll introduce Kevin uh, Cottrell. Um, Kevin has been just an amazing story as well for the mission and for God's grace. Um, God really has changed this man's heart, and he just has a just a desire to help others. Um, and it's such a blessing to have, and uh, he's just you know strong in his faith, and um, just a courageous, bold guy as well. So I'm just excited for him to be on the team. So thanks, Kevin. Appreciate that. I want to bring up uh, Kenny Doran too. Kenny, another just exceptional. Is he in the camera? Yeah. So he's just another exceptional uh, testimony of God's grace. Um, I've seen this guy has just a desire to serve, and in any capacity, however. Uh, God wishes him to serve. Uh, he, he's very humble and always willing. So it's great to have him on the team as well. So thanks, guys. Appreciate that. I'm going to introduce another guy, too. And then so we are we have a pastor that's on staff here. He's the about four months ago, I guess. Right. Four months ago, him and his wife made uh, uh, accepted the call that God put on their lives to come from uh, western Pennsylvania into New Jersey. Uh, he's now pastoring. Uh, this church, Christ Community Church, that we've partnered with. Um, and the mission's also hired him on um, to be our, our site pastor. This is Pastor Sean. Um, him and his wife have been so instrumental for this whole process as well. And he'll be the site pastor. Uh, he'll be leading up uh, the spiritual needs of our ministry. Um, and I'm really looking forward to building a relationship with him um, and seeing how God's going to use him um, in, in his church and the Market Street Mission as well. So welcome, Pastor Sean. And we're real excited. And there's one more. I don't know if Cindy's here, but uh, we have Cindy. She's going to be our administrative assistant. Um, it's one of those roles that are, uh, you know, sort of the back. Uh, is Cindy here? Hey, Cindy's here. Yeah, come on up, Cindy. Here. <laughs> Cindy made it, everybody. It's so good to have her here. So Cindy's one of those, you know, some, sometimes underappreciated roles because they do a lot of the behind the scenes stuff that needs to get done. So we're just so grateful for her to have her as part of the team, too. So 
um, yeah, this is an amazing journey and I'm really happy to uh, be part of it and just to have a wonderful team assembled. We can't do this alone. We weren't created to do this alone. We are created to be in community and thank God he's provided a wonderful community um, around us all. So I'm gonna bring George back up, I believe, to, uh, to pray for us. So thank you guys. Thanks, Make sure I got this right. We're going to pray and then we're going to go do the ribbon coding, right? Okay. All right. Good. Um, I do want real quick uh, a few more thanks before uh, we pray. Uh, I want to thank Aaron and Natalie for putting all this together. Uh, I want to thank uh, Christ Community Church, NVG Construction, Antonio and his crew development. I mean, it aren't Scott Taylor. Um, I'll get his name right someday. Um, it just... Uh, and I know as I start to thank people, I forget, but uh, as Jacob said, it takes, it's really a, the whole body of Christ, uh, all the different talents, Debbie, all the different talents and abilities of, of people to make this happen. We're thankful for all that the Lord has provided. So let's go now to the Lord to prayer uh, to bless this ministry. Heavenly Father, we come before you in the name of Jesus Christ. First, we are just say how grateful we are. We are thankful. We bless your name and praise you for going before us in this work. As uh, as Bill has already said, this is something that you established to be done before we were even made, before, before we were even born. Uh, these good works that were created for in Christ Jesus uh, were in your plans, Lord, and now we're just following that plan. We're trying to follow you in this. We're grateful for you opening these doors. We're grateful for each person you've brought to be on staff and to assist in this ministry. And we're grateful to be able to show your love and the power of your gospel uh, in Newton and in Sussex County and to be a part of your kingdom work here. We ask, Lord, go be, continue to go before us, finish up all the details, draw the people here, the men here, Lord, who you want to see helped by this ministry. Um, protect and guide this ministry, provide for it as you have, Lord, already. We ask your continued provision, your continued protection, and your help in all of it. Lord, unless you build the house, we labor in vain. So we ask that you would truly build this ministry in this house. Uh, you already know the people you want to help through this. We just look, Lord, to, again, to, to be help us to be sensitive, to follow your spirit and what we're doing. Uh, bless each person on staff, protect them, guide them, help them, bless all those who will volunteer, uh, Lord. And yes, uh, bless those who will come. Uh, and may, may this be an effective open door for the gospel of Jesus Christ and to see people helped. And we do lift all these things up in the name of Jesus Christ, our savior, amen. <laughs> Now, oh, ready? ready? Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> So we will, as a, uh, as Debbie just reminded me, just to let everybody know, uh, we'll be having some open houses sometimes for people to, uh, to come in and see what we're doing. So we invite you, give us a call, and we'll set that up. Follow and follow our Facebook page. <laughs> or are we on Instagram? And Instagram. And Instagram. <laughs> follow us on Instagram and Facebook. There you go. That's, that's right. And is that good? Are we? Yeah.